Most of the time, the、uh, volume will pick up starting with the London sessions if you're doing the day trading, and then it will extend to the、uh, New York session. So understanding how to trade with the、uh, London session is very important. And there are normally there are three strategies. The first strategy is called London open breakout. The second one is called London session trending, and then the third is called New York reversal. For the London open breakout, normally within one or two hours, you will see a breakout that will give you the direction of the trend, and then after the pullback, you want to go with the trend direction and then trade. Either scalping or swing, depending on the day. For the second one, London session trending. Normally, there's a trend. It will go through the、uh, New York session as well. It's trending with one direction. It's not necessary that for this number two strategy that it's gonna be a London breakout. It, the trend could start in the middle of London session or even sometimes from the New York section. For the third strategy of the New York reversal. Normally, start the、uh, in the London session. There is a trend direction, either up or down. But when the New York traders come in, they will reverse the、uh, trend direction. So that's why it's called New York reversal. Now let me show you some examples of each of the strategies on how to use them to trade. Let's first look at the、uh, London open breakout. Here we can see the London open is here, around this area. And then immediately after the open, we can see there are consecutive one, two, three, four, five bull bars breaking out, and this breaking out with the consecutive bull bars means the direction of the trend to the upside. And then what you want to do is that after the pullback here, and then you want to trade up. So you can see that later on the trend goes up a lot. The key here is that you want to see a strong breakout with consecutive bull bars or bear bars, and then you can see that the middle two bull bars are larger than any of the bars on the left. So this is a good breakout. Otherwise, if the breakout is weak, you want to wait and hold. In this second example, there is a downtrend breakout. So first, there's a London open here. After the open, we can see three consecutive bull bars. But these three bull bars is not breaking out because it is not much higher than the previous minor high, and then in the end the market breaks down here. You can see three, four consecutive bear bars, and then each of the bear bar is very big, bigger than any of the bars on the left. So this is a legitimate breakout, and then after the breakout we can see that it pulls back a little bit. Then the good trading opportunity is here. And then the market goes down. You can see even further. A few things to pay attention here. First, the breakout has to be strong. Upon the open, the upside breakout is not strong, and then it's not breaking here, like I said. And instead, the、uh, downtrend is very strong. And then the second thing is that wait for the pullback. You don't want to trade in the、uh, middle of the trend because the pullback could be huge, or you could make wrong of the direction, so you will have a loss. That's why the second point is that wait for the pullback. A third thing to notice on this chart is that here, after the New York open, we have a huge bear bar with the tail at the top and the bottom as well. That means the fluctuation of the market. So basically, this is an event. Announcing of some economic event will trigger the market to fluctuate. It could go up or could go down. So that means previously, if you're in a position,、uh, normally you wanna. Uh, close your position approaching the event to ensure that you don't have a big loss. It's like a gamble; you don't know whether it is gonna go up or down. And another strategy is that on the event date, especially for the events like、uh, U.S. interest rate decision dates, you don't want to trade because it's hard for you to get the、uh, trending direction of the market. Most of the time, when you use the London open breakout, you want to scalp. Because you don't know whether it is a trend day or not, but here is an example that you can do a swing rather than scalp to make more profit. Again, the London opens here, and then you see a breakout with consecutive bull bars. This is very good, and then you can scalp after the pullback. That's good example for the、uh, scalping. But in the end, you can see the chart. The day it goes up a lot. This is a trend day, so. How do you decide whether it is a trend day or not, or how to swing, or you just want to scalp? 
Only when the market develops, you can tell. You can see that as the market develops, there's no big uh, bear bars or consecutive bear bars to reverse, and then there's no sign the trend would reverse. That's one thing you have to tell. And then the second thing is that when you do the swing, then you want to keep your stop loss anytime to make sure that you don't lose much. And then if you are in a swing trade, in the end, you want to tell the sign that the trend is end. Now let's move to the second strategy, London session trending. That means during the whole session of London session, it's trending to one direction. So one criteria to make this decision whether it is trending or not is that you can compare the uh, open at London and uh, New York. So for this example, if the uh, New York open is higher than the London open, it's possible that it's going to go up and then as uptrend. So in this example, let's say London open is around here and then New York open is around here. Apparently, the New York open is higher than the London open. So there's a possibility that the market will keep going up for the day. Then during the New York session, we want to watch for the behavior to see if the market behavior supports the uh, uptrend here. First, this is the London open level. And then we can see the market post back once to test this level. Failed. And then second time, it failed. And then third time, it failed. So these three pushes means the market cannot break down to the uh, under London open. This is in support of uh, uptrend continuation. That's why after that you see the three pushes and then you can trade up. Here is a downtrend example. London open here, New York open here. So New York open is lower than London open. The probability is that it's gonna continue to go down. And also let's watch for the market to see whether it supports the uh, downtrend pattern. First, we can see between London open and the New York open. So the market goes down with a relatively tight channel. Tight channel means strong market. Second, we want to watch for the uh, bars. On the screen, on the left here, we can see that mostly we see bear bars rather than bull bars. And then bear bars, they are consecutive bear bars. Even though bull bars, we have consecutive bull bars here, consecutive bull bars here, but they're not very strong. They didn't reverse the market uh, too much. That's why after the uh, pullback here, we can continue to trade downward. You can see the market goes down even further, like a measured move. Now let's look at the third example for the London session trending. It's similar to the previous example, that this is the London open, and then New York open here. It's a downward channel, very tight, strong trends. That means probably today is a downtrend, a downtrend days. However, you can see that after that, the um, room for the uh, market to go down even further is very limited. So this means if the London session goes down too much before the uh, New York open, there's no room for New York session. Then when you are in the New York session, you want to wait or maybe hold and see whether you want to trade. Another thing you may notice is that the London Open has a very huge bull bar here. Would this be the London breakout? I would say no. We want to see consecutive bull bar breaking to be convinced that it is kind of a London breakout. Otherwise, you can see that the market goes down. If you trade based on only the first bull bar, you're going to lose. Now let's move on to the third trading strategy, which is the New York reversal. Here we have the London open and the New York open. Apparently it is in a downtrend. However, we see that there's two consecutive bear bars, very huge. And then immediately the market reverse the downtrend to a higher level. So this is a reversal for V shape. V reversal is a very strong reversal type because this is higher than the previous major high. That's why it is a reversing the trend, and then it is strong, then the market will go up instead of going down. One thing you should notice is that later on, the market didn't go too much. It is not even reaching the previous high here. That is because one thing you notice is that the downtrend in the London session here is very strong with consecutive bear bars, 
and then the each bar is, is relatively huge. That is why if London is strong, normally the New York will be weak. After seeing the first type of uh, New York reversal using the V reversal, let's take a look at the second example. We have the London open, New York open. The market didn't go much, either up or down, but suddenly there's a downtrend here. However, these downtrends followed by three pushes, and then it doesn't go down even further. Instead, it goes back up. So this is the second type of reversal, three pushes. Whenever you see three pushes and then the market didn't go even further, then you should realize it could be a reversal pattern. So in this case, you can see comparing to the previous example, the market goes back up even higher than the previous London Open. This is because if the London is weak, the reversal will show the New York will be strong. Now let's have a look at the third type of a reversal pattern. Again, we have the London open here and New York open here. In between, we can draw a trend line. The market is going up, apparently following the trend line. But somehow, the market in the New York session, it breaks the trend line to the downward. So the trend line break it is so strong because of the bear bars here, then the market changed the direction from uptrend to the downtrend. And then you can see the downtrend is very huge and very strong. So basically, if the market goes down using a trend line break, the direction is very strong, and then there are good trading opportunities. To summarize, there are three types of uh, trading strategies for London session. The first one is the London open breakout. The second is London session trending, and the third is New York reversal.